hobby friends, let's talk about tiny, tiny space elves. I think I may have been bitten by the bug guys. A few YouTubers recently have been singing the praises of smaller scales for wargaming, most notably Luke of Geek Gaming Scenics, and though I'm not a compulsive bandwagoner, I did fancy jumping on this one. There's another reason I'm interested in 6mm as well, something you might want to get in on, but I'll get to that later. 6mm is an insanely satisfying scale. I started this paint job at 5.30 in the evening and was as good as done by about half past 10, and that includes two hours for cooking and eating in the middle of it. 44 models in three hours is the kind of quick win that can get you out of a painting funk or refresh your painting palette, so to speak. And as someone who spends most of my time painting, that's something I'm always looking for. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Why am I priming these tiny little chaps pink? If you've been around this channel for a while, you'll know I'm a big fan of underpainting, and even if you don't know that series of videos, you've probably heard someone mention underpainting yellow with pink to get richer shadows. But these elves are not destined for the hallowed craft world of Biel Tan. Oh no. Before I even picked up my airbrush, I jumped into Illustrator and played around with some colour schemes. I was pretty sure I wanted something yellow and purple or yellow and magenta, but I wasn't 100% sure on what tones I wanted, nor on the configuration of those colours. I'm not a traditional artist, so I don't bother mocking up anything more complicated than some rectangles, but just putting together some simple blocks of colour gradients like this can really help firm up a plan. Warm yellow is my main colour then, with a lighter purple pink as the accent, and the old colour switcheroo for character models. Great. About that switched colour scheme character, since he's going to be different to his mates, he's going to get a different base coat, a muted orange in this case. The next job is to get these space elves highlighted up. Nothing too fancy here, just a solid zenithal with Tamiya white. I know that the yellow I'm putting on over these soon is nice and warm, which is what I'm looking for, and the pink will make the shadows a lovely orange colour. So I don't feel the need to do anything but get a good, solid gradient contrast on these. The minis, by the way, are from a company called Vanguard that makes 6, 15 and even 3mm scale sci-fi minis. Not a sponsor, but I really like their little elf range, so I've stuck a link below. I forgot to hit the record button like a complete doofus, so you'll have to take my word for it when I tell you that everyone got a good misting of yellow azo ink, except our commander here, who was coated in purple ink, and then given a super gentle underspray with blue to darken up his shadows. That's it for the airbrush now, it's time to get some details laid in. I used this Gravelord Grey from Army Painter's Speed Paint range, which did a great job of getting the weapons darker and their recesses shaded, all in one quick pass. As I mentioned, what I'm interested in here is a nice, fast finish on this force, and the techniques for getting speedy, good-looking results on bigger minis work just as well here. You definitely need to be more cautious about flooding details, so make sure your paints are going on nice and thin, but otherwise, paint is normal. The purple helmets were done with a quick mix of dioxazine purple and some matte medium thinned down with water to a contrast paint-like consistency. So, other than feeling inspired by other YouTubers and wanting to try my hand at something a little different, why am I painting all these tiny, tiny elves? To be honest, I'm actually thinking of them as a kind of proxy because the elves I'm really interested in at 6mm scale are ancient elves. Very, very ancient. Like, all the way back before humans were even around ancient. You know, when lizard men and sun-eating gods were having an argy-bargy. So cool. Epic was cool, man. I would definitely get into Epic again if, if Epic came out. Um, my dream, I think I've said this far too many times now, but my dream is for them to um, release, why are you not working, there you go, um, is for them to release a uh, War in Heaven era epic game. I just think that was
Since that live stream, I've taken things into my own hands and put together the very beginnings of a fan game I'm calling Bellum Calum, or BC for short. We are in the very earliest days, so if you're into finished products, you'll have to come back later. If, however, you like testing rule systems, or maybe even if you're into concept art or 3D sculpting and you fancy getting involved, head over to my Discord linked below, where you can find a special channel for the project. It's 100% a fan project, so if you like all things Xenos and old school, come on in and get involved. Unless, of course, you're a GW lawyer, in which case uh, you never saw this video and please just let us have fun with this. Thanks. All the Chappie's helmets got some pink highlights and the vehicles got a little recess shading with burnt sienna acrylic ink, plus some super easy edge highlights on the vehicles with ice yellow. I used a blob or two of that on the arms and shoulders of the troops as well, just to get that last bit of pop. At this scale, the more contrast the better, even more so than our familiar 28mm figures. I let an AI design some space elfy looking runes for me, which I failed to freehand onto the little banner, threw some green contrast paints and earth pigment powder onto the bases, and that was about it. Now, of all the minis I photographed, these were the biggest pain in the butt. It's the part of making these videos I dread the most anyway, to be honest, but trying to capture the feel of 6mm minis in photos is a skill I will need to hone a lot more. That said, man, this was a fun little project. I absolutely love 28mm scale for painting, for playing, for everything, but the satisfaction from working on these little guys and the practicality for gaming of having a small army that literally fits in the palm of your hand, well, I guess I love that too now. Don't forget to hit the like and sub button if you enjoyed the video guys, and check the links in the description to get involved in, well, all of the community fun, but especially BC this time. Cheers for watching and I'll see you next time.